we got some rather interesting news regarding women's soccer. And this is kind of a confusing story. So I asked you guys uh, if you could please follow. So Portland Thorns teen Olivia Moultrie, she is filing a lawsuit against NWSL over age restrictions. Um, so basically what's going on here is um, she is 15 years old. However, in the uh, NWSL, it requires their players to be at, le at least 18 years old. And she is filing a suit in the U.S. District Court in Portland, Oregon. And she alleges that by refusing to allow Moultrie to play, the NWSL is violating the Sherman Antitrust Act, which is basically an act that was created in like 1890 regarding like groups. Um, I'm going to read the act right now, uh, just so you guys know. So the Sherman Antitrust Act it is a landmark U.S. law passed in 1890 that outlawed trust groups of businesses that collude or merge to form a monopoly in order to dictate pricing in a particular market. And the act's purpose was to promote economic fairness and competitiveness and to regulate interstate commerce. Um, and because those are not my actual words, I will put that in the uh, I will put this link in the link below on the YouTube video. Um, but yeah, Nate, she basically she's arguing that the law is unlaw it's an unlawful rule and she wants it to be abolished. Um, and it says somewhere in here, it says that she is not looking, she is not looking to be like placed in the league, but what she's looking for is that that rule be is to be abolished or they remove the barrier to her participation. Um, now, before I pass it on to you, Nate, this article was written by Jeff Carlisle. U.S. soccer correspondent. So I'll start off with you, Nate. Your thoughts on Olivia Moultrie filing a lawsuit against the NWSL? Uh, well, whatever happens, you know, I wish Olivia Moultrie the best of luck with this. And uh, before I continue with my thoughts, I have a quote from the NWSL themselves about this. Uh, they said, and I quote, the league is engaged in collective bargaining with the NWSL Players Association, which is the appropriate place according to federal labor law for issuing regarding terms and conditions of employment to play out. Age requirements are a common feature in many men's and women's professional leagues in the U.S. and, and abroad. The rules that um, the rules that govern league operations are in place to support players and team operators and ensure that NWSL remains the premier women's soccer league in the world. We will vigorously defend our league against this uh, limitation because it seeks to change a long-standing rule and interferes with the collective bargaining process. I'll say this, okay? I understand. I understand it on both sides. You know, I I look at it on both sides, and I can understand. You know, the league's trying to protect its rules, but you know, you look at Olivia Moultrie's case. You gotta look. You know, like uh, me and Mario were talking about this before we started. How the the MLS doesn't have um doesn't really have an age limit. You know, um we actually um talked about this while well, Alex Alcala got um signed by the LA Galaxy. We'll leave that in the description down below as well if you want to go check that out. Um, but he he's the same age. He's fifteen. Um. And I think there's another country out there that doesn't really require age. To be uh, a factor. Yeah. It's France, right? Yeah, France. France. If she was, if she was a, uh, if she was French, she would be able to play in a French. Yeah, country. right. Right. So it, it, I can understand why she is like that. You know, she feels like that both leagues are going to do it, which the MLS is a relatively big soccer league. And same thing with France. You know, they're part. You know, they're, they're, they have their own soccer teams there, just like every other international country does, or most of them do anyway. And I can kind of understand why she says that, you know, but at the at, at the same time, you know, I do look at it on both sides. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to who's going to win this and who's going to lose this. You know what I mean? It's a very confusing situation. You know, it really is. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I understand it on both sides. So, personally, that's really my opinion. But I'll just end it off by saying, you know, best of luck to Olivia Moultrie, whatever happens from here. You know, best of luck to NWSL. Um, and if there is an update on this, we will give it to you guys. But as of right now, you know, that's really all I can say. So best of luck to them moving forward. And I'll pass on to you. Yeah, well, first off, you know, uh, best of luck to Olivia Moultrie. And um, again, you know, whatever this lawsuit is, hopefully, you know, she can follow it through. And same, and I'm going to wish best of luck to uh, the NWSL as well. Okay. I definitely see both sides as well, Nate. Um, let me say this, okay? I'm not sure if this rule is unlawful, okay? That's up for the courts to decide. I'm not sure. I will right. say this, though. I do think it is unethical. And the reason why I say that is because we, we've seen this with the NBA versus the WNBA as well. The NBA draft, you know, you, you can play one year in college and you can go right to the NBA. Um, but, however, the WNBA draft, you have to be at least 22 years old. And again, you must be, uh, you must stay in college for a decent amount of time. So it is very unfair. You know, that like that, 
women basketball players have to stay longer than men basketball players. You know, it's the same thing with soccer. I think it is unfair that women soccer players got to stay in longer than men. You know, we talked about Alex Alcala. And again, you know, he shouted us out when he made the video. So shout out to Alex Alcala. But again, you know, 15 years old and he was going, he's going to be signing to the uh, LA Galaxy. Same thing with her. You know, she's 15 years old and she could have a contract right now, but because of, of this rule, she can't. So I do think it is unethical. Do I think it's unlawful? Again, that's up for the courts to decide and like politi political wise, you know, that's not, that's not our job to decide, but I do really do think it is unethical because I feel like if, if males are allowed to enter professional leagues at 14, 15 years old, I think females should be allowed to enter professional leagues 15, 16 years old as well. They shouldn't have to wait till they're 18, you know? So, I mean, that is definitely like a problem. That is definitely a problem within both sports with like men and women. It is. And I think that is something that they should like kind of modify, you know? Again, I feel like if what's fair to one is fair to the other. You know, I just don't see, I just, I really don't see the need or the necessary or the necessity to hold them back. I really don't. But again, you know what? Uh, if we ever come up with an update um, on this case, we'll definitely uh, upload a video on it. Um, but yeah, Nate, again, best of luck to Olivia Moultrie. Best of luck to the NWSL. And hopefully they can get this issue resolved.